Hey, oh, Joe Evergreen. Gra Chief Groundsman here. You know, since I took over at West Brom Horticultural Society, we've managed to raise 800, that's 800 new species of plants. Like my, my main concern has been the left wing since we introduced the herbaceous border from Burnley. The colour on t'other hand has never been quite right. To be honest, the lawns have got to be the best thing for all year round. And our groundsmen, our groundsmen say that they are now ready for the International Flower League Cup Challenge this coming autumn. Personally, there's no substitute for a rhododendron in your front lineup. But for your mid borders, your mid borders, I always try to use coloured hybrids from abroad. It gives the impression of order and strength. That said, there is a lot of investment in the cultivation of new seedlings. And I'm, I'm one, I'm a great believer in the hard groundwork. Remember, the shovel is a mighty tool in the right hands. Here at West Brom, we've had some injuries and some plants are finding it hard to stay in the league. They noticed. Steve McMahon from Rochdale Roses, he was head hunting some primroses last week, but most of them turned out deadheads. Steve was training a clematis with Bob Green and nearly died after a nasty secretor accident. He was stretched off the terraces but was recovering in the greenhouse. And last week we had postponed the meeting with Chelsea because we, we were rained off. It's a constant thorn in my side. After all the cuttings we've done this season my chairman, Doug Thorne, has given us an open checkbook to bring in new hybrids from Holland. This will allow the saplings to grow and for the future of our club, we know we're going to turn another leaf in the history of the flower beds at West Brom Horticultural Society. Cheerio!